Hi everyone, welcome back to a new school year. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Ms. Nicole. Some people call me Ms. Ramirez, either one is fine. And I am the school counselor at Wesley. So some of you may not remember what a school counselor is, or maybe you haven't met me yet and you just don't know what a school counselor is or does. So I have a story today that I'd like to share that I hope can explain what I do at school. So this story is called Mrs. Joyce Gives the Best High Fives, and it's introducing the school counselor. The story was written by Irena Winnett and illustrated by Somnath Chatterjee. So Mrs. Joyce Gives the Best High Fives. It was finally the first day of school and Anita couldn't wait. All her friends would be there and she had a new teacher to meet. The front doors of Emerson Elementary opened, revealing her favorite person at school, the counselor. Mrs. Joyce smiled and high-fived Anita. Mrs. Joyce gave the best high fives. Good morning, Anita. It's wonderful to see you. How was your summer? Excitedly, Anita replied, good morning, Mrs. Joyce. My summer was totally amazing. I spent most of it at my grandpa's farm. He taught me to ride horses and catch fish, and we went swimming almost every day. Just then, a group of boys came running up to high five Mrs. Joyce too. Welcome back, Brad and Charles. Your backpacks are almost as big as you are, she teased. And who is this? This is Raymond. He's my new neighbor, Brad explained. Hello, Raymond. My name is Mrs. Joyce, and I'm the school counselor. It's nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you too, he replied shyly. As the boys walked into the building, Raymond asked, what exactly does the school counselor do? Brad began, well, school counselors help you with lots of things. I visited her last year when my parents separated. It was really hard on me, but Mrs. Joyce talked with me and helped me better understand why some people get divorced. Did your parents find out what you talked about? No, Mrs. Joyce didn't tell anyone. She's a school counselor, so she doesn't tell anybody what you talk about. It's called com confidentiality. Unless you're being hurt or you're trying to hurt someone else, then she tells someone, someone who can help you. Mrs. Joyce helped me too, Charles added. I used to get so anxious before tests that I couldn't think straight. Mrs. Joyce taught me ways to relax and get prepared for tests, and now they're way easier. Later that week, Miss Bright, Raymond's teacher, handed him a counseling pass. Mrs. Joyce would like to visit with you to see how you're doing. Raymond felt nervous as he walked into the counselor's office. But as he looked around the room at the colorful posters and drawings, he began to relax. Raymond, it's great to see you again. How's your first week going? I like it so far. My teacher's really nice and Brad's in my class. Wonderful, exclaimed Mrs. Joyce. I'm glad to hear you are both together. Looking around, Raymond noticed a sign. That sounds like something I've heard before, he declared, pointing to the poster. What is said here stays here. What does it mean? It means I won't tell anyone what you and I talk about. It's private. It's called confidentiality. So remember earlier we heard that word confidentiality? So whatever we talk about, I can keep private, except if someone is hurting you, if you want to hurt yourself, or you want to hurt someone else. Then I have to tell someone to keep you safe. Just like Mrs. Joyce. Oh, I remember Brad saying something about that earlier. He and Charles told me some of the ways you've helped them. Yes, I'm here to help all students. Sometimes we talk about feelings and making good choices or setting goals. I help each student become their own problem solver. My own problem solver? You bet. Once you learn how to solve your problems, you are closer to being the best you that you can be. Raymond thought for a moment, if I have a problem and want to talk with you, how do I let you know? Easy, you fill out an I need to see the counselor form 
or you can tell your teacher and she'll let me know. You can also tell your parents or guardians, they'll give me a call. So you all can do the same thing. I have a Google form or an online form where you can fill out called, I need to see the school counselor, just like Mrs. Joyce. You can also tell your teachers or your parents or guardians or whoever you live with, and they can call me. Would you ever visit with my parents? Sure, I work with parents and teachers. We are partners in your education and we want you to be successful at school and at home. So I do the same. Raymond nodded, sometimes it's hard for me to make friends. Is that something you help students with? Absolutely. In fact, I have a friendship group that starts next week. We'll talk about what friendship is and discover ways to make and keep friends. Is that something you think you might be interested in? Raymond shrugged. Will the other kids make fun of me and tell everyone I don't have any friends? Oh no, whatever anyone talks about stays in here, even when it's group. Remember the poster? So you aren't allowed to talk about it outside this room? That's right. What we learn about each other is meant to help, not hurt, Mrs. Joyce assured him. Cool, I'd like to learn how to make friends, Raymond smiled. Yes, I want to be a part of the friendship group. That's great. I'll send a letter home to your parents explaining about their group and get their permission. Raymond had one more question. The other day when our class was coming in from recess, I saw you go into Charles's classroom. Why were you there? I go into classrooms several times a year. I usually read a story or do an activity with the class. We always have a great time during my classroom visits. So I'll do the same. For now, you may see me on Zoom or Google Meet or online, but I'll visit your classrooms too. Raymond thought about everything Mrs. Joyce had said. He liked talking to the school counselor. Thank you, Mrs. Joyce, for telling me about your job and for inviting me to join the friendship group. I'm glad you're at our school, Raymond. There are a lot of grown-ups who are here to help you. I'm just one of them. As Raymond left her office, Mrs. Joyce gave him a high five. See you next week, she said. Raymond grinned and walked back to class already feeling like making new friends might not be as hard as he thought it would be. And even if it were, he knew just who could help. So I would say for right now, the biggest difference between me and Mrs. Joyce would be for now, our high fives have to be virtual. So we can give you a high five that way. All right, but I look forward to seeing many of you online and talking with you and being here at Westlake. So I'll see you all later. Thank you.